Okay, so I've just finished milking. I've been up since half five and uh, I've got a uh, little day out planned uh, away from the farm. So I had to get all the work done before I went. Uh, I've just come in now, nine o'clock. I've <laughs> eaten two donuts for my breakfast and uh, <laughs> like you do. And now I'm heading to Birmingham to this thing. Ooh. Farm innovation. Uh, Farm Business Innovation Exhibition at Birmingham NEC. Look, I've got a funky farmer ticket. I thought um, it'd be quite interesting, maybe I'll do a little video there. Uh, my friend Tim, it's a free event actually, it's pretty good. Uh, well, I don't know if it's pretty good, I haven't been there yet. My friend Tim just um, texted me all, uh, a month or two ago and said, do you fancy going up with him to see this? And I thought, you know what, actually yes, because um, it'd be interesting, you know, even if it's not anything for us, it's... Interesting to go and see what's about there. I imagine lots of glamping, lots of solar farms or wind turbines because there's the sort of things that are current at the moment. Um, but I'll be interested to see what else is is sort of options for farmers um, and farm businesses to do. Um, so I'll try and do a little video in the place. I, again, I, I can always say when I go to these things, I have no idea what to expect and I don't know how much filming I can do and everything like that. But let's see what it's like anyway i'll sneak in funky farmer cam all right see you in a bit we're going to birmingham that's not really a very good birmingham accent is it birmingham birmingham, birmingham. I, can't. <laughs> I just can't do accents right let's go to birmingham right right so i'm walking in first thing i've seen is a dinosaur that's a good start bit different from uh, solar panels. So, there it is. Let's see what's in here. Hello. Thank you. All right. More dinosaurs. Wow. <laughs> More dinosaurs. All right, I'm going to walk through here. Hello, mate. All right. so much stuff here I'm gonna just walk around and capture a few bits and pieces in fact I'm, we're gonna, I'm just gonna walk around filming from the hip as you like I might put a bit of music over it and then what I might try and do is chat to a couple of people uh, gosh it's been a, oh there's a lecture uh, going on there don't want to go down there let's let's go down here I, I'm sort of interested in the glamping side of things this I'll turn the camera around, we'll film as we go, all right? So we've got kids play out activity stuff. There's the wigwam. I'm going to go and look at the wigwam later. Glamping stuff here. Oh, that's pretty cool. The man's recording everything. Greetings. Oh wow! Look at this. That is pretty. I like that. Ooh. Win a goose. His play equipment, though, pretty funky. 
I think I've seen some of this around actually. So as you can see here, there's a, a, quite a variety of things here. Uh, there's another glamping thing behind me. Um, oh, hot tubs, hot tubs. So it's kind of, well, there's a bit of everything here really. I sort of, uh, and the candy factory. Wow, my kids would like that, look, candy factory. So I must be in the sweetie zone there. Vehicles. Lots of little vehicles, these are quite cool. Look at that. I must stop and talk to them. There's quite a lot of hot tubs here. There's another one there, look. A hottie with a hot tub. Uh, right. I am going miles. Uh, oh, look at that tap. Like that. Right. Containing wall system. This is uh, quite overwhelming, actually. I, I probably want to pick up a plant. Ice cream. So tea and coffee behind me. I think, I mean, realistically, there's a lot of um, products here that, depending what you're doing, suit your needs. I'm, you know, forest feasts. Mm. Sustainable coffee. Make a bear. Ooh, what are those? I'm, I'm attracted to the make a bear. I'm not sure how that fits in with farming. Uh, look at these light things. Jellyfish balloons. Wow. Look at those. So this is more sort of selling extra stuff. All right, I'm gonna go down this aisle. So this is all your Thai, I recognise that. Look at those. Thai stuff. Pepper pig. Pepper pig. So I'm gonna, what we've got here, brick stuff. And it's sort of bricks that you mould together. So it's the sweets. Oh, popcorn. Yeah, exactly. the, the biggest thing that we make a deal of is the fact that it's vegan as well. Yeah. So it's salty butter is um It's vegan. Oh, everything's flipping vegan these days. Oh no, I don't believe it. It's more vegan. I'm vegan. And I'm not. Right. That's where the world's going to these days. Everything's becoming vegan. Oh dear. Right. So food area, more food, this is juicing, juicing juicy, Welsh beef products, ah, oh, look. right, I've come up to, hang on, what, what is this, the premium ciders, yeah, Col premium, Col 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 where, where is that base, oh Herefordshire, yeah, nice, yeah. nice. So I, I've, you are the first stall I've stopped at okay, to chat then. to. What's your, what's your selling point today then? Selling point today? Uh, we're doing premium cider. bottled ciders. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we do apple juice as well. Bag and box and keg ciders. So we're just here today to make a few contacts. And is this from the farm? What, yeah, so how does it work then? on the estate then. All the apples and yeah. uh, fruit we use in our ciders are all grown in our estate. Uh, so it's a nice easy for us to do. Brilliant. Can I try a sample? Yeah, You've got so a little tiny... What kind of side do you normally oh. drink? Uh, sort of medium? Medium, medium. Okay, got a medium dry spark right. here called the Willy Gun. What's this one called? The Willy Gun, have a look at that again. Nice. Get a label in it. Yeah. Hereford Cider, thank you very much. Let's try that. Here we go, I'm going to try. 
Oh, that's all right, isn't it? <laughs> Thanks very much. No worries. Well, these guys give me a free sample. Look out for them. We're, we're, have you, you got a website out. or something? Yeah, we're called Corkham House. Uh, you put it on there, the website, yep. www. There you go, you can look them up. You can see oh, what, see them. Some cider guys. Brilliant. Thanks a lot, guys. Oh, cheers. cheers. And you're in the video as well. <laughs> well they, were, they were sound. One of the guys is a bit camera shy, but um, had a nice chat with him. I got a little bit of cider. Uh, Pepper Pig still. Big ear, Pepper Pig. The rides. Oh, funky. Oh my life. Look at this. What do they call those things? I've forgotten. What are they called? Um, what are those things? What are those things called? Well, I think President Bush fell off one, didn't he? Um, show my age. So we we got everything here, really. We got a bit of sampling, but uh, sort of not just farming really related stuff. It seems to be um, you could use this. There's rollerblades there. Rollerblades. You could use those in anything. Um, it's quite surprising what is here actually because you sort of I guess the thing is every farm a lot of farms have got a lot of attractions and on the side like a cafe like there's a climbing frame here that's pretty cool my kids have definitely climbed over stuff like that in fact look at that that's pretty cool funky little TP thing uh, it's so it's so variable it barks and mulches next door oh wow look at this one look at this our work is play. Look at that. Our work is play. I tell you what, it's difficult for me to know where to stop to speak to someone because there's so much here. And uh, I am actually here to look for myself as well. So at some point I'm going to put this camera down, stop filming and go and uh, go and actually look myself. Look at this one. Whereabouts are you? That's pretty cool. Oh, okay. I'm going. I'm heading. I'm heading back to uh, the glamping pop because I want to look at that. So that's pretty cool. Let's have a look. Where are we? Pa, 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 pa. Not there. Right. This is uh, how to support British farming. We like that. Sam this. That's a pretty good safari out. Let's go and have a look in here. Ooh. This is pretty cool. Wow. So a canvas sort of a safari tent, but it's a big one. Oops, sorry. I'll sneak back out of there. Back in Ho Seasons Cottages. Well, mm. very, uh, okay, I'm officially lost now. I um, I'm looking for that funky glamping pod thing that I saw earlier, but I can't find it. There it is over there. Oh, look at this fire pit. Look at these. Wow, they're massive. Wouldn't mind one of those. I know, one of these bouncing pillows. My kids have been on those. Those are actually really good. Wow, look at these fire pits. Oh, they're real. Didn't expect that to be real. Oh, wait, your kitchen. That's quite a lot. Yeah, so we got a... Got a pretty good selection of fire pits here. I'm going to have a look around what else is going on. So this this stall over here, supporting your diversification. This lady might know what... You look like someone who might know all about farm diversification. We do. Or a little bit. And we do. Yeah, Can you tell do. me... Actually, this is perfect because this is all about diversification today. And so what do you do? Do you actually promote diversification or are you... We help people on their diversification journey. So. Lots of our clients are farmers and landowners, yeah. and we help them make, get the best out of their resources and their assets. So, change of use of buildings. Right. Uh, we, we have done planning permissions for glamping sites, uh, and all sorts of different 
uh, uses for farm buildings. Yeah. What's the most popular sort of diversification that seems to be happening at the moment? Glamping is very Glamping. popular still, yeah. uh, but it's quite saturated now. But, right. Um, but yeah, still, still very popular and, uh, and earning people lots of money. But also. Um, just the change of use of buildings on farm that perhaps aren't being used yeah. to their full potential. So, and are there any hurd particular hurdles you think that can happen when you diversify? Um, the planning process mm. can be quite difficult, yeah. and it's uh, it's good to know um, how to get from from one point to another. So. Mm. We look at where people want to get to right. and then advise them okay. what's the best way of getting there. And sometimes it can be a several step process, so it can be quite and, complicated. Um, sort of with this, uh, with the diversification on farms, are there any grants available or any funding available or is it purely mostly funded by the farmer? There are sometimes grants available, it depends um, on the time right. um, as to what's available. Yeah. Um, there, have been, there have been funding for, yeah. for things like that before. There's a, a small growth programme right. which is available. So if you could choose, you, you've probably seen quite a lot of diversification in, since you've been doing this. If you could choose your favourite diversification that you've seen, what would it be? Um, we have had a Thai restaurant on farm. Have you? Yeah. Wow. Um, uh, some of the glamping um, different proposals yeah. have been have been interesting. Right. Diff you know, it varies from simple camping yeah. to sort of top end luxury glamping. Right. Um, but yeah, lots of different things. And lots one more question. Yeah. So, if you had a bit of advice for someone who was thinking of diversifying, what would it be? A simple thing. It would be take care of your core business. Right. Make That's sure that interesting. make sure that you have got the interest and the drive to actually do something yeah. different. Um, don't just do it for the sake of it. Right. Um, and and get some good advice. And where would I go to for good advice? Well, the business barn, who's our neighbours here, right. has is a brilliant free resource yeah. in the first yeah. instance, and they will signpost you to the professionals that you need, including ourselves. Brilliant. So if you do need planning permission, then they would signpost you to us. Right. Or, Who are you? Mole and Co. Mole and Co. Brilliant. Very so good. look look you up on a website or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Right, yeah. Moreandco.co.uk. You can find us there. So, you, so have you watched any uh, videos on YouTube at all? I'm quite a fan of the Funky Farm. Hey! <laughs> My son Thomas is a big fan and so, we, we do spend a lot right. of time watching you and your mum. Thomas, I'm here with your mum and I'd just like to say your mum has just done a brilliant interview. Thank you for watching. Hi Tom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brilliant. and can I have a free pen now? Of course you can. <laughs> Lovely. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> There we go. Well, that was that was nice. I had a nice chat with that lady, and uh, her son watches the Funky Farmer. So hi, Tom. Um, I am. Go I've got to meet my friend Tim at twelve o'clock. So uh, I want to look at this glamping pod here, the one here. This is quite interesting because I I like the look of this because I like. There's a lot of glamping stuff here, but um, I quite like the, the concept of the fact that um, you can sort of, I guess you could sort of drop something like this in to a field rather than um, trying to build something, I don't know. So I, I need to find someone who knows what they're talking about in a minute, but I'm gonna have a little look inside. Let's have a little look, it's wigwam or something. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. So, uh, glamping at its best. Mm. Looks really nice actually. I, oh, it's got a loo in the back, which is quite quite a nice. I, I'm going to cost someone in a minute and ask them some questions, but um, he seems quite busy. Uh, this looks this looks cool. I've turned up when they're really busy. They seem really busy. Glamping at its best. Look at that. I stay in that. Join the wigwam. By the, by the way, this isn't product placement. I haven't actually uh, been paid by them to promote this. I'm just filming. I'm just looking at something I quite like the look of. Uh, wigwam. Wigwam. Big wham bam. Oh, I'll find someone, they're all really busy. It's still really busy. This is obviously a really popular one. I think it's because it's quite cool. There's a nice one behind. Let's have a look at this one while I wait and see if there's anyone free. These are more modern, trendy style, I think. It's more of a, it's almost like a caravan actually. 
these are sort of more uh, not so I guess you could say that was traditional and this is more super funky oh cool come on let's find something from wigwam I might have to come back later otherwise this is a busy one what's this one over here weddings oh CLA uh, Harvesting, I think. Right, still can't get on the wigwam. Right, I'll um, see what I can do in a minute. Okay, so I've actually tracked someone down connected with this behind me, a guy called Charles, and he actually is the founder. So I am going to spin round to Charles. Here he is. Thank you for dra I've dragged you away from customers, which not, is always not, not a problem. So, Charles, tell me about Wigwam, because I, I like the look of this, and I believe it's a franchise or something? So Wigwam Holdings is a franchise, yeah. and uh, we, we've got uh, over 80 locations UK-wide. Wow. And we first established the company, or I first established the company, way back in 1992. Right. Well, we just one wigwam or something, with, was it? Uh, with probably two wigwams on the right. West Island Way. Actually, that was 1994. Yeah. Yes, two wigwams on the West Island Way. Wow. Yep. So, how does it work as a franchise then? I, you know, I don't know anything about this sort of thing, really. Does yeah. someone buy into you? How does it, how does it all work? So, we've built the, 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 the business up over the last 20 yeah. years, 25 years. Um, we've got a great website, a yeah. really great brand. So, we're the UK's only glamping yeah. franchise. Um, What's the website? The website is wigwamholidays.com. Right, okay. So that website's our flagship website. Yeah. It's where all the business takes place. But as a franchise, we build you a unique bespoke website which is hosted within mm. that domain. Yeah. So we also provide our community with training, territory. Okay. So, but how does someone buy into having this on their farm? If I, if I wanted one of these on my farm, yeah, yeah. how does it work? So we've got two options. If you wanted yeah. one, we could offer you a thing called Franchise Light. Okay. Uh, if you wanted to have a full franchise, you buy six cabins, and then that gives you a full Wigwam Holidays franchise yeah. with territory, operations manual, wow. full team support. So, so, so basically, because you're part of this bigger picture, people can go on the Wigwam website and book the holiday there? Exactly, or? yes. Okay, so, so then they can look all around the countryside to see where these are, I take it, can they? So yeah, I mean, yeah. if you, if for, for a consumer, for yeah. somebody who's looking for a glamping holiday, okay. Uh, the advantage to being to going to Wigwam holidays, you know what you're going to get. Right. Yeah. So of you know, doesn't matter if you're in the in the Shetland Isles yeah. or, or in Cornwall or in the Isle of Wight. Yeah. You know that the standard of accommodation is going to be the same. They're very they're very well designed. They're very nice inside, aren't they? I yeah, wouldn't mind like staying in one. Yeah. 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 Um, and they're very posh. So, so does someone buy the actual pod off you then? Do they? I, you know. How much, no, how much we, would one of these cost? So th this one, yeah. we have the Farm Business Innovation Show. Yeah. This is a, a brand new product. Yeah. We've got the Running Water 200 right. Deluxe. Wow, so, it looks good. Deluxe, thank you. Yeah. So including VAT, yeah. that one's £24,000. Right, OK. Uh, we've got two fit-outs. So, so we, does that include... for twenty four? Sorry, I interrupted you there when you were supposed to. Does £24,000 include the... Locate putting it on the farm, or is that just buying it off you? So and it's then... X Factory, at right? Four thousand. Yeah. So basically, you've got your delivery on top of that. Uh, we can yeah. get two of them in a lorry. Yeah. So we can get to most parts of the UK for under a thousand pounds. Right. Okay. Um, yeah. So our farm will actually lift it off the lorry and drop it onto pre pre made foundations. Um, so, but the the price includes everything that you would need to actually. Plug it in and, and I know it's because you've got a bathroom suite and everything yeah, in do. there. Yes. So you could crane that straight in as long as you've got the electrics and the plumbing yeah. and everything there. Yeah. You basically just link it up and you're ready to go almost, aren't you? Yeah. The thing, the things to remember from a farmer's point yeah. of view, if you are starting your glamping business, yeah. You need to have water. Yeah. You need to have ele electricity, yeah. and you need to have a sewer of some yeah. description. Okay. So whether that's a septic tank yeah. or whether you're going to go right. to some sort of fancy reed bed system. Yeah. You need to get your services, and, and I always say, and I'm speaking here this yeah. afternoon yeah. at two o'clock. Okay. Uh, I always say, get these numbers before you do any planning or any anything. What you mean, the cost of running, of doing the, all the that? basic cost yeah. of infrastructure. That's good information. Yeah. That's interesting. So if you're thinking of, if you're thinking of setting up a glamping site, yeah. my advice is have a nice site that people will want to stay at, yeah. having something 
uh, five, ten yards from a motorway probably isn't going to actually work. No, it's no, noisy. no. So go pitch a tent, mm. go and sleep on your site, okay. and wake up in the morning and say, did I enjoy that experience? If you did, yeah. it's a good start. That's really good advice. It is good advice. Because you know you start with the basics. You, it's the basics. Mm. And what after that, can you physically get people to that site? If not, maybe consider somewhere else on your farm. Right. So it's access, yeah. road access, and people access. Uh, how are you going to manage it from the farm? Yeah. How are you going to manage the site from the farm? You know, if you've got something that's over the valley and round a hill and you know 20 minutes away from your actual farm house yeah is that the best site maybe not right then look at the cost of servicing the site so that's drainage electric and water right and if you do these, these that thinking before you even go to a planning application you can save yourself a lot of time and a lot of money right do you know what that's fantastic information <laughs> you haven't just tried selling me your product you've actually given some really good advice for yeah. people setting up yeah. uh, a glamping site yeah. And I really appreciate that. No, it's not a problem. Thank you so much for your time on that. It's a pleasure. So it was unexpected that I just turned up and with this camcorder. Well, it was so nice to meet you. Thanks a lot. Cheers. All right. <laughs> so there we go. I got what I wanted there. I got an interview with a guy about glamping, and um, that was good because he, he was obviously going to mention his products, or if you like, but he was really, really interesting guy. He. Um, he was telling me stuff which I didn't realise. Well, the kind of obvious stuff, really, I suppose, that you need all the uh, services in place and everything. But, you know, maybe you do take that for granted. So, got that in there. I'm carrying on walking through. And uh, I'm not sure what we're going to see next. I'm going to probably do one more interview with someone. And then I'm actually going to meet my friend Tim. And hopefully have a bit of lunch and carry on looking round. Uh, oh, there's so much to see here. Um, let's have a look what we got here. I think I've done this. Oh, look at those. That's cool. I'm not sure I can fit those on the farm. Right. So, what are we on the, on the side here? Space cabins. These look good. Oh, they're, they're more sort of glamping stuff. Sort of more little cabin, cabin y things. Having porn inside. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like that. Right. Oh, I'm on the edge of the. More lodges. There's a lot of lodges. Giga. Get Gigaloo. Ooh. Gigaloo poo. Right. Uh, what, so we're we going to go down here. I was really good. I've had. Um, oh, the Savils. They've got nice poofs. Uh, what are we into down here now then? I've got to meet my friend Tim. I'm going to have to grab someone soon, otherwise I'm going to be... Ram Tech Technology. Oh, someone else vlogging. I wonder if he's vlogging. He's got a little camera. There he goes. I wonder if he's a vlog man. <laughs> what have we got here then? Some people look a bit bored. I think I'm on the periphery. It seems to be all happening. Oh, there's another filmer. It seems, it seems to be all happening in the main bit over there, which is always the way, isn't it? Uh, there's carpet cleaners there. I'm not quite so sure everyone's going to be loving the carpet cleaner. Um, Meter Max. Oh, there's a keynote theatre there. I could have done a theatre thing here about vlogging, but I don't know whether that's... Well, it is farm diversification, isn't it? I am trying to make some money out of vlogging. I do make a bit of, from advertising revenue and a few bits and pieces, but I don't do it really for the money. I do it because I really enjoy it. Oh, look, there's those smelly loo things that we see. P-Wave. Oh, that's the things that go in toilets. Right, P-P things. Right, I've got, I, I really want to grab someone else. I want to grab someone else. What should we, who should we talk to? Who should we, I like the kids, kids um, play equipment back there. I, do you know what? I'm going back to kids play equipment. My kids were like that. Uh, da, 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 da. There's so much stuff here that is, chainsaw wood carvings I am my head spinning around and um, let's have a look let's have a look at this one this looks good my kids are like this okay so uh, I've, I've I've already collared the chap I'm gonna talk I'm gonna ask him about this play equipment because my kids would like all this so tell me uh, Sam yes tell me about what we've got on here show today so on the show today is um, some of our equipment that we sell for playgrounds and everything. So we're a natural playground company. So um, we're looking to put things into the environment that blend in, but offer a lot of 
natural play experiences, so we still do all the usual stuff like swings, slides yeah. and everything, but it's about using natural materials. I like it. So just, can we go around here a minute yeah. and just have a look at this? I notice the wood's got a nice sort of old rustic finish and everything like that. Yeah, so this... this it's not milled or anything, is it? No, so this is um, Rabinia, so we import right. this from Europe. Really? And it's, um, yeah. it's a, a fast-growing hardwood, which sounds okay. a bit of an anathema, but... Yeah. Um, and it's really good because it's long standing in the ground. Right. And then it just comes stripped of its bark. Yeah. So it just, you end Very up with Very tactile, nice, isn't it? Kids yeah, like all that, don't they? I know my kids do. And it's just about organic form, so children yeah. can... Yeah. Obviously, you've got the towery thing, but then you've got things like this where it's just kind of, how do we approach it? How do we get over it? You know? I stopped here because I thought my kids would love that straight away. I know my youngest, Harry, would definitely be all over that. Uh-huh, yes. It's really nice. Yeah. So do you sell this to farm attractions and things? Yeah, no, absolutely, yeah. So, you know... That's why we're here, is looking yeah. to, you know, build our client base. Yeah. And we do projects from sort of like 20,000 up to, you know, half a million. Wow. So it's... So know, where's the biggest one you've done then? So the biggest one we've done is probably at the moment is Bellis um, Country Park for Essex County Council, which yeah. is a 300,000 pound project. Wow. We've just completed a, another country park in Upton down near Poole, yeah. which was a 180,000 pound project. Wow. So. It's, you know, it's everything from the small so what, things. What about so, the smallest thing you've done, which I could afford? The smallest thing. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously, you know, we will go and do a project yeah. around the £20,000 yeah. mark. It's just, right. you know, it's just the way our business Okay, so you're sort works. of starting at about twenty grand. Yes. So really, yeah. this isn't aimed at individuals then, really. This is aimed at no. sort of more of the kind of sort of larger businesses, if you like, yeah. Yes, exactly. Mm. And we are trying to tap into the you know, smaller farm attraction yeah. or yeah. the, you know, if you've got <clears throat> a farm shop and a, and a mm. coffee shop and yeah. everything. And you just want some small play. I yeah. mean, the issue with play is that we are like regulated, right? And Health servicing and costs money yeah. and everything. So it's it's not just the price of the actual right. physical equipment; it's the service. You've got to put it down the ground and everything. Yeah. So where do you make all this stuff then? So we have a factory up in North Shield, just outside right. Newcastle on Tyne. Yeah. So, um, wow. but we're nationwide. Yeah. So, yeah. No, so. I like it. I love it. I'm not sure I'm going to spend 20 grand on my kids. But... <laughs> Why? They're not worth it. Uh, of course they're worth it. Jack and Harry are worth 20 grand, just not from me. <laughs> thanks a lot, mate. I yeah, appreciate brilliant. your time okay, on that. Thanks, cool. Sam. Cheers. Thanks a lot. So there we have it. I've had some cider. I've been into a glamping pod. Uh, didn't have a really good looking glamping pod because it's so popular. I couldn't get inside, but have a, I'm sure you can look on their website. I've had a look at the kids' play equipment. There is some jacuzzis here as well. Gosh, what is it about jacuzzis? Everyone seems to want to uh, diversify into jacuzzis. Maybe it's a hot tub thing when you have the glamping or something, I don't know. Right, so uh, I'm gonna meet my friend Tim now, who we have something to eat, I think. Uh, I've got a free pen, got a free pen. Uh, everyone seems to have bowls of chocolates as well, which is quite interesting. Um, I guess everyone's gotta give out something. Oh, look, musical instrument thingies. Look at these. I'm not sure what these are. Hmm, they look cool. Right. Oh dear, I'm so easy. Oh, more hot tubs. More hot tubs. Hot tubs. I told you, it's, it's hot tub heaven here. Maybe I've just come into the hot tub a bit. Oh wow, look at these. Electric bike. Electric bike, look at that. Cool, they're pretty good. I like those. Do you know what? I might have to grab someone and ask them about electric bikes. Do you know about electric bikes by any chance? Sorry? Do you know about electric bikes? Uh, a little bit. Do you know, do you mind being interviewed for a YouTube vlog That's about fine. electric bikes? That's Brilliant. Fine. So your vlog, I, I just, I was going to finish, but I've just seen these and they look really good. Yeah, yeah. So tell me a little bit about what you've got here then. Uh, so they're the APCs. APCs. Electrical, what's yeah. that mean? So it's electrical assisted pedal cycle. Oh, okay. Um, they've got a 50 mile range. 50 mile range, right? Yeah. And they go at 15 and a half miles per hour. Right. So, okay. So yeah. So. How long do they take to charge up? Uh, they're on full charge, around mm. eight hours. But right. Uh, they're lithium batteries, so. So you can sort of top them up, you I top suppose, them can you? Take a couple of hours. Right. So, yeah. Gosh, they're pretty funky, aren't they? They look good. They don't actually look. They look more like almost like mopeds they're, or something, yes, don't they? Yeah, really? Yeah. They're, they're, do you have to are, wear a helmet with these? Uh, we we say to wear a helmet, yeah. but the regulations say. That right. You don't Question to. is, can you have a pint and drive them? <laughs> or is that illegal? <laughs> no. Well, you yeah, can. yeah, no, okay. you can. Well, can't drink and drive on an electric yeah, bike. You, we don't. You, so. you, you can. You can. You can. Um, but if you look on the, because it's exactly the same legalities as a bicycle. Yeah. If you go on and have a look on the website, apparently 
you can still get done on a normal bicycle anyway. Uh, it's right. down to the the, the, yeah. the the police officer will make a. Will I should, make sorry, a... I should say I'm not promoting drink driving. <laughs> We're just purely not. out of research Absolutely purposes. Absolutely None not. of us are. Just, just saying pure, you can. Not pure, saying you should. Just no. saying you can. Just purely out of interest. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. So, how much does one of these cost then? So they're sixteen nine five on our website. One six nine five, uh, fourteen nine five for today. All right, cash on. I think I got about four quid on me. I, <laughs> when we buy them one today, no, well, they're okay, pretty cool, to, aren't they? Today. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah, and I noticed that you've got like people using for delivery and everything like that. Exactly. Yeah, we're, we're the market leaders in our e-cargo. Right. Uh, for the uh, for the restaurant. Like delivery sort yeah. of thing going yeah, exactly. on there. Exactly. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, guys, thanks very much for Thank you very being much. let me oh, interview. Oh, well, that someone else has uh, just got. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to give you that. There thanks, you go. mate. Lovely. Take care. Lovely, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, cheers. Oh, there you go, I got a bit carried away by the electric bike. So I, I am like, ooh, there's loads of stuff to look at here. Uh, I am gonna find my friend Tim, I need to get him some lunch. And ooh, fire pits, ooh, they look good. They are funky, I like that one. I've got, to, I've got to stop sounding like a kid in the sweet shop going, ooh, ooh, ooh. But they are good, there, there's so much to see here. I am. Um, I am generally impressed by the range of, um, I say, equipment and uh, stuff like that here. It's just all really good. Um, there is a really nice mix of stuff you could put on the farm, stuff that if you've already got a shop, you could um, put in the shop. And, you know, it's not just for farming. I thought it would be just really farmy, farmy, but it's not. I haven't seen a solar panel yet or a wind turbine. Maybe that's up that other section. Right, I'm going to switch this off now and go and find Tim. And then um, might do a little bit more at the end, or this might be it, I'm not sure. Okay, so I've met up with Tim, we had our lunch, and I'm just doing a little kind of... I'm just going to do one more interview with someone, I think, because I, before we head off, I, um, look at this. It's Pengu, isn't it? Pengu, I like that. And uh, wow, look at that, Pac-Man, wow. How cool is that? I tell you, you might be the last person I interview if you're oh up gosh, for it. Okay. You're okay for that? Yeah, I mean, I might not know the answers, but. So, okay. what, what is this? I just look at. I, wow! It's a big Pac Man! Yeah, so this game um, is designed around the original Pac Man. Yeah. Um, obviously, it's just on a much larger screen. Yeah. Um, so, we're going back a little bit retro with this one. So, what's the idea of this? Is, is this for amusement arcades or is this for farm shops or how, where yeah, do you um, market? So, a big part of our customers are amusement arcades. Yeah. So, your bowling centres, yeah. um, holiday parks with them. Um, amusement areas and stuff so um so yeah it's definitely one to draw the crowd can i have a go sure yeah can you show me yeah, how it works sure. so let me have a go at pac-man where are we so if we pop this on a two play yeah so you're the yellow one okay i am gonna be rubbish at pac-man all oh, right okay it's a long time ago since i played this oh oh look here we go wow oh. exactly the same basis Woo. if we go to blue then we can we can eat oh. them and otherwise we need to escape I'm loving this. I am. Um, I'm loving this. I'm on Pac-Man. Look at this. Actually, I should be watching what I'm doing, really. <laughs> Let me just turn it around. Let me just film you. Oh, oh, oh there's the ghost. I am that yellow guy there. You are the yellow one. Oh, oh no! So the idea. The so how much does one of these cost? Um, so if you were to buy one of these outright, it would be around eight and a half thousand. Eight and a half thousand? Yeah. Wow. Um, I've only we, got about four quid on me. We also um, do shared revenue with sites. Yeah. Oh, okay. So what? Someone could buy this and... So somebody help. would have it in their centre and there would be a shared income. Wow. For yourselves okay. and for... Oh, look. Oh, I've just died. We've got dots that far. Oh, Both well, died at the same spot. That is fantastic. Thank you. Thank you so much for letting me have a go on your pack. No man. problem. Okay, so that's your company. What's the company called? Um, Bandai Namco Amusements. Well, wicked, thank you. All right. Brilliant. That was funny. I didn't expect that. I just walked around the corner and saw Pac-Man. So I've had a game, of, the biggest game of Pac-Man I've ever played. God, my kids are like that. Um, Eight thousand pounds for a Pac-Man game. Oh, hot dogs. Mm. Uh, that was a bit of a Homer Simpson moment, then, wasn't it? Mm, hot dogs. Mm. Right. Oh, this is back in the food section now. I am, I am a bit chaotic with this, but then I am not here with a plan. I'm a man with a plan. Uh, so anyway, yeah, really, I'll probably will think about what we're doing here. So just just looking at what I've seen today, um, so we saw the glamping, we've seen, I had a chat with someone who talk, knows about the ups and downs of applying for planning, things like that, uh, or the advice they can give. Um, there's a sort of food section, there's a toy section. Uh, someone's handing out 
Mm. Chocolate. Can I grab one of those? Oh, look at that. So Thank it's dark chocolate. I was just there. Don't Fantastic. That. Thank you. Ooh. So, a bit cheeky. I've just got myself a little tub of chocolate there. Um, oh, what's that? Just fridge magnets. Okay, so look at that dark chocolate. Very nice. Who are they? Boozy Dam. It's a bit of free plugging for these companies on here. Ooh, sorry. Um, Oh, this is good. Look at this. These are more games. They're in they're in oil cans, and then they've got games on the top. That's pretty cool. All right, Greatest Station. I like that. Palm Palm X. Hmm. So we're into. Oh my goodness me! This is worth seeing. Look at this. Animatronics or something. I suppose they call them. I don't know. Wow, look at this! And a big chair. Big chair. Right, let's get away from the uh, deer and the snowman because it's not Christmas yet. And uh, Spaceman. Spaceman, oh, that's quite good. You can get. Look at that. 1,039 quid for NASA Spaceman. Right. This is all toys and different things up here. This is fun, though. actually. This is a lot of good stuff that you don't normally see, or I don't normally see. I think we might have come to the end. Have we come to the end? Yeah, I think this is probably pretty well... I think I'm pretty with this laser quest there. Look. So I, th I think I'm pretty well come to the end of the ex... Ooh. Come to the end of the exhibition hall. TV production partnership. Uh, so I'm going to head. I'm going to head home now. Um, not because I finished doing what I'm doing, but I finished videoing because I want to. I want to actually walk around with actually sticking this camcorder on. But uh, yeah, it's been quite fun coming here. There's been a lot of good stuff to see. Um, I've just seen a unicorn. Let's finish by a little video of the unicorn because you don't see them every day. That is funny, isn't it? This is the winter wonderland, I think. Look at this. Oh, I've just seen something we've definitely got to finish on. The unicorn there. Pretty cool. But look at that. Look at that. That's what I need. One of these chairs with a cow. Let's have a look. 639 quid for the chair that is a cow. Anyway. Okay, guys, so I've finished with chair that is a cow. Or cow that is a chair. Um, so that's me at the um, that's me finishing up at the Birmingham NEC at the Farm Innovations show, but uh, very interesting. Uh, well worth a visit, and it's free. Okay, let's go and eat my chocolate, and then we're heading home. Cheers.